Oh, hi there! And welcome to... We're gonna go with Lacanosa, because that sounds about right. Small little town. Small, or probably gonna be a short part because of it. Anyways, immediately upon entering, you're gonna be ambushed by Bianca and Juniper. And that cheater, she used fly to get here before me. I can't help it, I've never been here before. Jerk. Jeez. Anyways, yes, yes, Opelucid, I heard you the first 20 times. My goodness, these people are persistent. Anyways, you're gonna come over and talk to this lonesome old lady. And she's going to give us story time over a cup of tea. Even though I don't drink tea. Never really liked tea. That and coffee. Don't like coffee either. That's a... I'm kind of glad I never got started on coffee though. I just feel like coffee's a bad habit. <laughs> I prefer my standard water and milk. And the occasional drink of Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm out of Mountain Dew, my life is so hard and I'm so sad. Anyways, we're gonna have a little story time over the giant chasm. And yeah, giant chasm, meteorite, scary Pokemon, ooh, scary. Darkness. <laughs> oh, it eats people. That sounds cool. That's how I want to go out of the world, being eaten by a giant Pokemon. Uh, well, that was a fascinating story. Nine out of ten, would listen to again. You should feel, feel very proud of yourself, old lady. You, you have entertained three random strangers that you've never spoken to before. Because that's what people do in this game, they just talk nonsense to everybody who walks by them. Anyways, come outside, they're gonna babble on some more about meaningless nonsense. Zekrom or Reshram, depending on which game you're playing. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay, let's let's hurry it up. We're getting bored. We're talking about meaningless stuff. Okay, it's not that meaningless. Yeah, meteorites, spiral tower, giant chasm. They're just talking about theories that don't even matter. I'm ready to move on. And sometime today, story time wins. Yes, you did ramble on. Brilliant observation. Oh, Drayden again. Okay, I heard you. I get it. My goodness, you people are just so persistent. I heard you about Drayden. I can only walk to route so fast. My goodness. Oh, these people, they just keep going on and on about Drayden and Opelucid as if I didn't hear them the first 1,000 times. Anyways, Lakyanosa Town. It's a small town, which results in short videos. I've seen like a few comments that are like, make longer videos. Well, just so you know, I divide the parts up into routes and towns and sections. I chunk my videos the way the game was designed, so if a part, if a route takes 10 minutes to cover, I'm only gonna do a 10 minute video for that area. That's just how I divide my videos. And if, if for whatever, if an area is long, the video will be long. If the video, if the area is short, then the video will be short. But I never, I try to avoid uploading over 20 minutes. I'll split parts if I feel like it's gonna be longer. That's just because uh, I don't like editing videos that long because that's just, it takes a really long time for that stuff to export then and it just causes issues. But I'm rambling on myself about things that really don't matter. I just thought I'd address that because I see people ask, why don't you upload longer videos? I upload 
in a manner that the game allows. So blame the game designers for the way they design the game. <laughs> You grab a full hill here, in that other house you could grab a metronome. A metronome is a pretty interesting item. It's kind of like the move, uh, is it Fury Cutter, I think? If you keep using a move consecutively, it'll get stronger the more you use it. It's not a half bad item. Uh, if you switch, if you switch using moves though, then it will, uh, you, you'll lose the extra power that your move gained from using it consecutively. Inside the Pokemon Center there is actually something you can do here. You can buy three TMs, Blizzard, Thunder, and Fire Blast for the low low of $70,000. Now these moves are very powerful, 120 power a piece. However, they don't have the greatest of accuracy. Blizzard and Thunder are 70 accuracy, Fire Blast is 85. However, Rain for Thunder and Hail for Blizzard will raise their accuracy to 100%, and Sunny uh, Weather Conditions will up Fire Blast's power by 50%. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use these moves. I typically choose accuracy over power because I'm that guy who just has the worst, most rotten luck in Pokemon games. Uh, the other day I was playing a Pokemon game and I missed, or I hurt myself on Confusion five straight times. Let's be honest, that just does not happen. That's like one in 32 odds I think I did the math for or something. It's just like, I'm that guy who has that rotten luck. And I'm also the guy who's never seen a shiny Pokemon for myself. Unless you count the Rhydon and or Rhyhorn and Crystal, but anyways, I'm rambling again. The last thing we can do in this town is head over this way, and Hugh's gonna be around, and he's gonna be like, "Sup," and then we're gonna be greeted by Team Plasma members, just as just as we were talking about Team Plasma. Speak of the devil, and they're gonna talk about some stuff their weird theories and civilization stories and whatnot. Uh, these people are so weird. And then Hugh's gonna be like, I'm gonna get my Pokeball, and I'm gonna get back my stolen Pokemon that you probably don't have. And he's gonna ask for a hand, and then he's gonna unleash his rage. Rage be wild. Anyways, time to fight, and this, keep in mind, Zinzolin is uh, one of the seven sages, technically, so he's kind of like a boss battle, I guess you could say. He starts off with a Kriganol, level 42, Ice type, Levitate ability, move set, Ice Beam, Light Screen, Reflect, and Slash. It's actually a really good Pokemon for a double battle because Light Screen and Reflect will help protect both Pokemon. And I have the wrong Pokemon for this battle. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's go with this. There's also going to be a Golbat from a random Plasma Grunt, level 39, Poison Flying type with the Inner Focus ability, moves to Air Cutter, Acrobatics, Mean Look, and Poison Fang. It does not have a hold item, keep that in mind. That will, in turn, increase Acrobatics' power. Uh, and then your rival's gonna fight alongside you with basically the team you last fought him with, maybe a few levels higher. In this case, I have Superior because I started with Oshawott. So he's basically gonna have whatever starter yours is weak to, and then he's going to have one of the monkeys that your starter is strong against. And then he has an Unpheasant. If it gets to the point where he loses all of his Pokemon, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. Whoa. That was... Uh, impressive. A one-shot KO with Leaf Blade. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, if you get to that point, you're playing this game wrong. You're, you, you must have, like, level 2 Pokemon or something. 
Anyways, Zenzelin's other Pokemon is Sneasel, level 44, Dark Ice type with the Inner Focus ability. Its moves are Screech, Slash, Snatch, and Punishment. Again, no hold items. None of these people have hold items. I don't think any of them have potions. I might be wrong on that one, but I'm pretty sure none of them have potions. So that should make this a little bit easier. Like I said, it's kind of like a boss ba battle, but it really isn't because, I don't know, there's a random plasma grunt in this battle. At least in, like, third gen when you fought Maxi, he fought alongside Tabitha in the one place. And let's see... I choose you! Go, Marissa! <laughs> Yay! I remember the po like, I don't watch the Pokemon anime anymore, but... I, when I, I used to a long time ago, and it's like, I choose you! I completely forgot all about that. I actually have watched a little bit of the uh, first, uh, the very first season of the Pokemon anime. I've watched a couple episodes recently, and that stuff's just classic. <laughs> Always good entertainment. Also, uh, the other Plasma Grunt, Garbodor, level 39, Poison type Stench ability. Move set is Body Slam, Sludge Bomb, Clear Smog, and Toxic. Not too bad. Poison types are weak to Psychic types. <laughs> and that takes care of that. Plasma! We must continue the search! And off they run. Like scared little cowards. And Hugh's gonna be like, Get back here, fools! Arr. And that's pretty much it. One more house, but I don't think there's anybody even in this house, so... A random refrigerator. <laughs> Anyways, yep, that concludes this town. Next up is Route 12. I'm going to go heal up with the Pokemon Center. Thank you, and good night.